going on YouTube this is your man Carnell the tech savvy rider hey today is Wednesday uh, of course you can see I pulled out the big boy I woke up this morning like out of the wrong side of the bed I just had a <clears throat> attitude from somewhere I mean I I just wasn't feeling it today so I pulled out black flash I'm a strong believer of you want some stress release? Jump on your bike. And uh, that's why I pulled it out today. Cause man, I don't know what it was, but today I guess this weather or something messing with me. I need to get out and just jump on my bike, come to work. And uh, now, no, it's now that I'm riding, I'm, I'm a whole lot better now. Okay. Head on out here, head on to the house. Let's give y'all some updates right quick. Uh, me and Lady Luck is almost done with the house. We're just trying to clean up a little bit. So, hopefully soon here, when the, once we get everything cleaned up and back situated and order some new furniture because we threw everything away, order all the new stuff. Uh, once everything come in and we good to go, y'all will see a lot more of her. Uh, than me uh, seeing a lot of both of us But as for right now, I'm just jumping back and forth between both vehicles Because I enjoy them But when it comes to Black Flash It's the only one that actually give me enjoyment that No matter how bad my day is It can't it's going to get better once I jump on this bike. I put it like that. All right, man. Hey, I want to talk to y'all real quick, man. Of course, I was, uh, yesterday, I was on, uh, Black, uh, I mean, I was on, uh, top of Mount Scott with Deathstroke. And, of course, y'all saw the video, hopefully. It's just me and my co-workers trying to, uh, put a video together for our corporation so they can, uh, basically just telling them hey these are the people that's working for you down here on this side of the world so we put a little 15 second through a 30 second clip just saying hey here we are uh, but uh anyway after that little episode everybody went their own little separate way and i walked around the mountain for a little bit you know just in trying to enjoy the scenery and uh uh, early, uh older gentleman uh older than me uh he came up to me you know i was observing him when he was uh when he was approaching me right i could tell he was limping you know you could easily tell that you know the way he was walking that you know uh he had some bad knees but anyway he came up you know giving me some thoughts i mean uh, giving me some praises on deathstroke and we started talking about oh yeah every man's favorite subject his hobby and he started asking me about you know what else i ride and stuff and i was telling him about my first love here which is which is a uh, black flash and i said hey uh make a long story short man i was telling him you know this is my passion this is what i enjoy doing this is where my heart is really at and it's this bike right here i've been riding for as long as i have and he said yeah I used to ride okay so I'm expecting for this whatever he's about to say I'm expecting it I said you know from me observing him walking that it's gonna end up being an injury the reason why but he went on and said hey yeah I used to ride I don't ride anymore because my knees are bad so I called that one right off the bat he said I don't ride no more because my knees are bad so me being through the same situation of uh, body pain and i know exactly what he was saying about hey you just sometimes you just get to the point where you realize your body just telling you 
hey it's time to give it up okay so i'm looking at him like well when was the last time you rode and this is where the conversation just totally took a left turn you hear me it took a left turn from from whew, i mean to go ahead and tell you the story so he said i start riding and i'm you know like i said i'm thinking he about to say about you know a week or two or a month ago maybe a year he said i stopped riding 10 years ago i said what yes i stopped riding 10 years ago i said what made you do that why did you do that he said well my wife brother had a motorcycle accident and he was killed in the accident and all right i said well i'm sorry to hear that man i said but you still ain't tell me why you got rid of the motorcycle he said when she came home from the funeral she was so upset she looked at me and looked at my motorcycle and said get rid of it now or i'm leaving i said hmm couldn't say nothing after that one yeah, that's a hard pill to, pill to swallow if you listening to this confession from another man talking about his own family he said she came home and told him it was either his motorcycle or him or her now you hear stuff like this on facebook and people you know doing memes and stuff like that about getting kicked off a cliff when a woman said hey motorcycle or me and the guy ended up kicking her off the cliff stuff like that but hey this was a real life event that happened to this man 10 years ago i said okay you're saying she told you 10 years ago to stop riding what did you do to make you start riding he said well after that day i decided to go ahead and get rid of the motorcycle because now i had got paranoid because she was paranoid about me riding i couldn't say nothing after that okay fear is fear okay but if the motorcycle never gave you fear in the first place then that shouldn't be an excuse for you to get rid of it he turned around and looked at me and saw the expression on my face like man you know i'm i'm giving up the impression uh, express facial expression that's not good enough man you don't have to come better with that come better than that he looked over at me and said it one more time it was either my wife or my motorcycle i chose to keep my wife i said okay i gave a smirk because it was about to come out and i just went on and let him have it my response was did she give him back to you yet did she give him back to you yet he was like what you mean i said well that was 10 years ago have you started back riding since because i'm waiting on him to tell me that he's not riding me because he got hurt because i see him limping right he said no that was it 10 years ago she said got get rid of it and i got rid of it i said i'm gonna say it one more time did she give give him back to you yet he said man what are you talking about i said man she snatched your balls she snatched your balls made you give away the one thing that you was happy of doing happy of riding you was enjoying it and you let someone else make you get rid of your happiness now ladies if any woman is listening to this video and you are a rider you are a motorcycle rider and your husband came home and said get rid of this motorcycle or i'm gone i'm changing the scenario right quick your husband came home and said get rid of your motorcycle or i'm gone i guarantee you that motorcycle that female motorcycle rider will look at that dude and help him pack his bags because that's her happiness that motorcycle will get her more happiness in her lifetime than any man ever will 
So when the roles are reversed, people understand exactly what I'm saying. But when I'm telling a man, why did you let a woman get make you get rid of, of the one thing that you love? He has no answer. When that same woman, if she was riding and the scenario was changed, you'll be packing your bags. And I can't understand it for nothing. I really can't. My point I'm trying to make people, I don't care what your significant other has to say. What I don't care what none what a non-rider has to say about your motorcycle. They was they would never be able to give you a reason to get rid of it. Unless it is a financial burden to you that you are spending all your money on your motorcycle because you're trying to bring it back up from a dead from a dead motorcycle or something like that. It's a graveyard motorcycle and you're trying to fix it up but you're spending all your money on it. If y'all want to know why I didn't slow down, people around here love to jump in front of a motorcycle. And I love jumping off of mine, but I'm going to make sure that I run this joker clean up in your... Well, let me change my voice. So, he looking at me like, you ain't going to slow down? No, I'm not going to slow down. I know how to jump off this joker. I did it plenty of times before. I run this joker straight through your, straight through your front, your uh, side door where you sitting because you want to act a fool and pull off in front of me. But anyway, yes, if you haven't figured it out, I don't have all my marbles. <laughs> but I'm a good guy by heart. But anyway, the story I was trying to make, uh, the point I'm trying to make, people, is no matter what a non-rider has to say, it will never be an excuse for you to get rid of your passion, man. Keep doing you. No matter what, keep doing you, keep being you. Don't change for anybody. And if it comes down to your happiness versus you being miserable, this man was probably two to three years older than me, and I swear he looked like he was about a good 10 to 15 years older than me, walking around limping, and he looked it miserable. And I'm pretty sure the whole time while he talking to me and I'm messing with him like that, he finally realized, yeah, that was the biggest mistake in my life of getting rid of my motorcycle just so I can stay married. To be honest with you, I ain't never met a happily married couple. Everybody has struggles. But I meet a happy motorcycle rider every day. Now take those words of wisdom and use them wisely. That's my spiel for the day, YouTube. Y'all have a good one. GoPro, stop recording. Hey.